Ho oh, Zims and Zers, Zoomers and Boomers, and welcome to another Stacking Triggers League match. My name is Bill, and today we're playing Rakdos Burn. It's the beginning of the week, so we're going to start off with a deck tech, and let's get into it. For this deck, uh, Rakdos Burn, we are running a shell from the Blackburn deck. Uh, it's going to be containing a lot of the Chancellor of the Dross. Uh, opening cards, you know, if you open this with it in your hand, you will get instant damage and life gain, uh, soul spike, so that way you can cast it for free using those Chancellors. Uh, there's four of each of those. We have three Street Wraith. They could be uh, soul spike fodder or just card draw if you need it later down the road. And then we got a lot of one drops here. One drops being Bump in the Night, uh, one mana, target opponent loses three life, it's your Black Lightning Bolt. Gonti's, uh, Gonti's Manichance, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, allows you to gain and drain three life, assuming that you've taken damage. And with our mana base, you can do that, you can do that pretty easily. Um, you have to take damage once per turn to get your, uh, your energy, and then it takes two energy to activate it. Uh, we got the Akiba Reckoner Raid, uh, new card from Kamigawa. Not new anymore, but new-ish compared to a lot of the other cards. Two chapters, gain and drain, one, and then you flip it for a menace creature. You got your sleeper agents. Uh, this can turn bad really fast if you don't uh if you're not fast enough uh, it's going to go ahead it's going to go to your opponent your opponent will lose two damage on their upkeep every turn uh but they can then swing starting at you know the very next turn for three at you a uh, four lightning bolt because it's the best red uh, our mana base pretty standard reactive stuff we got the black cleave cliffs the blood crypt bloodstained myers to go and search things up uh we have two silent clearing uh, a Forbidden Orchard, which is an odd piece in here. It adds a 1-1 one, one colorless spirit creature token to your opponent. Uh, that's kind of a theme in here uh, with Rakdos Charm. Uh, each creature will, you could select the mode, each creature will deal one damage to its controller. And this is kind of where that's coming in at. It's like a finisher. So that way, if you have the Forbidden Orchard and you've been loading them up with a lot of creatures, they shouldn't see this coming. Uh, if they're a tribal deck, they're really not going to see it. Uh, really fantastic. Going over to the sideboard, we have Dothy Voidwalker. Uh, this just helps prevent like Underworld Breach decks, um, Living End. Lots of hate for that. Uh, Knight of Dusk's Sh Sorrows. It says your opponents can't gain life. It's a 2-2 two, two for 2. It's a great bear. It's got menace. You can pump it a little bit if you have nothing else in hand to do, because this deck, you, you run out of things to do in hand very quickly. Uh, but big thing is, they, you know, your opponents can't gain life. A smash the Smithereens for Artifact Hate. Uh, and then Reign of Gore. Uh, this is for other big life gain decks. It's going to you throw it on the battlefield, and instead of an opponent losing or gaining life, they're just going to lose that amount instead. This is really great for Haywire Mites, uh, because if they're trying to loop a Haywire Mite, they're going to lose two life every turn instead of gain it. Um, but also, even if they're trying to use the Haywire Mite to get rid of the Reign of Gore, they're going to lose that life as well. So... Let's go ahead, let's get started, let's get into some leagues, and I'll see you in the gameplay. Okay, welcome, welcome to the first league match of Rakdos Burn. Right now we are waiting for our opponent to pick if they play first or not. Let's see what they choose. Hopefully we get some Chancellors of the Dross in hand. We got one, and we have stuff to do turn one. And turn two. I forgot to mention during the deck tech that we have Orcish Bowmaster. Uh, that's just really good for pinging things down. I think we're going to keep this hand. And we'll go ahead and reveal our Chancellor of the Draws. So we'll deal some damage. And gain some life. But this is going to set us up fairly well. 
because we've already got the soul spike. We've got the chancellor. That means that we're one card away from casting soul spike for free. I don't feel like giving up the bowmaster or aider. Uh, or that this is rage chandler, and we got Mishra's pop. So they are wooded foothills. I wonder what they're doing. they could be doing a breach deck, uh, or maybe prowess. Either way, okay, cool. So we got some stuff going on here. Let's go ahead, put the black cleaves out, and Gontis out. The reason I want to put Gontis out now, maybe this is a misplay, uh, is so that way when we put the Bowmaster out, or uh, when we crack the Bloodstained Mire, we're getting a trigger. Next turn, we're going to be able to Bowmasters this Dragon Rage Tandler. Unless they have just the nuts and they're able to get it up to delirium fast enough. I'll be really upset if they get delirium this turn. Uh, that looks like another Mishra's Bobble. Uh, let's see, got two card types. I think they need two more. So luckily this doesn't add the card type. They're, they're peeking at us again. So they know we have the street rage. They don't know that we have the soul spell. Soul scar mage. Okay. That's actually really good. That means that we do that they're not going to get delirium on that. And they're doing their self damage. Are they going to shock it? No, nah, they should shock something in. Okay, and they're doing lightning bolt to face. But this is this is actually really good for us. Because now we're going to be able to Gonti's next turn and not have a problem. Uh, let's just Soul Spike now. And we'll get rid of the Chancellor and the Street Wraith. Feeling four and gaining four. Perfect. And they get the draw card off of Mishra. Ugh. Okay. So let's go ahead. Crack this, get a Gonti's trigger. Go ahead and grab a swamp. I don't feel like shocking in Blood Grip. Add an Orcish Bowmaster, taking out the Chandler. And I think we're okay to just chill. So if they are an Underworld Breach deck, they just lost engine to keep putting cards in the graveyard. Unless they have another Chancellor in hand. Let's see. It, they're just, they're, their land base is a little painful. Opponent. Take from Saffron all day. Uh, opponent. <laughs> They do have quite a big decision to make. They could attack with Soul Scar. I mean, we're just going to chump it with the army. What just happened? Heard something. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Mercy, okay. So they do have stuff. Let's go ahead and go That's a swamp. Not exactly what we're wanting to see right now. We will do Raider. We have quite a bit of life. We should be able to take some beats from this Chandler. What you gonna do, buddy? Okay. All right, we're at 26, they're at seven. This can still go poorly for us. We could just draw nothing. 
And there's the Underworld Breach. Had a feeling that might be happening. Let's see what they decide to do. Probably gonna cast the Chandler, the Swift Spear, the Lightning Bolt. Should really cast the Swift Spear. I wonder if they're gonna go infinite here. Do they have a way to give their creatures trample? We have blockers. And their hand's empty. So, I mean, yeah, they could Mishra's the entire time. Just draw their deck next turn. But they're not going to be able to play me this turn. Yeah, like we're gonna we're gonna block that soul scar mage for sure. And they just killed Delirium on their Dragon Rage Chandlers. That's back. Just go ahead and set set a stop here. Let's set set us set. Uh, no possible play yield all. all. Right. Like there's nothing for me to do. I literally can't play anything left. Let's so. Let's yield. See what happens here. I don't I don't think this is as good as they're thinking it is. So next turn, they're gonna go down to six from our Reckoner raid. They go down to six. I don't think they're gonna definitely swing. Soul Scar. And they got a mutagenic growth. Wait, does that give trample? No, it doesn't. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to do. I have no idea what they're trying to do here. Yeah, there's a sprite dragon. They can't cast the sprite dragon. <laughs> Is there uh Maybe they're just trying to draw a bunch of cards. Hope I hope they know that I'm gonna block. Swing? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, so we block there. I think we take the Chandler out. If they draw another Underworld Breach, this will limit how much they can actually do. Right, because they're only going to be able to do so much. Now, granted, they have the bobble here. But I think it throws their math off a little bit. Oh, no, it doesn't, because they can cast the Chandler from the graveyard. That might have been a punt. You blew it! You had it all and you blew it! Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I should have kept the Bowmaster. Oh, man. I should have kept the Bowmaster. Let's see. Yeah, that would have been one, two, three. That would have been six damage. And then... Oh. Should have kept the Bowmaster out. That was a big mistake on my part. You're the reason this species is a failure, and it makes me angry! Let's see what they have. They're probably going to dig again. Try to get that Underworld Breach again. In my head, I thought it was a perfect idea. 
Should have thought that one through a little more. I forgot about the Fisher's draw. What about the Mistress? I don't think they have another breach though. They would have played it already. Well, they would have played it before expressive iteration, I think. What did they exile? Oh, they exiled a Soul Scar Mage. Yeah, okay. Yep, and you have to attack with that. Yep, that makes sense. So we get to flip our boy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and Sovereign's Fight. Gain three life, lose three life. They lose three, we gain three. I just have to survive the next round. We have a block. So that punt might not have costed us that this round. We'll see. We'll see. This was a bad punt. I should have. I should have kept the Bowmaster. What are you doing? You want to shock it in too? That'd be nice. Such a bad play. I should have kept Bowmaster. I could have. I could have been done with this match. This game. Game match. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Comment below. Comment below what you want to call it. Is it a round? Is it a match? I always call them. I don't, I don't even know what I call them. I call them matches. Although, I think technically a match is the set of three games that you play. Wow, there's a lot of triggers here. He's really stacking the triggers. Listen to the Stacking Triggers podcast every other Monday on this YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, he's going to kill that guy. Your thing. All right, we just need to draw a black card or a card that costs less. We need a black card or a card. All right, we're just going to yield. We need one black card or a card that costs less than three mana to deal damage to them. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 23. Oh, they have Exaxes. Do they seriously have us? It cost me the game. All right, we need Dothy Voidwalkers. Not playing Bowmasters there. We're not leaving Bowmasters. They don't gain life. They don't have, like, they rely on artifacts. It's going to. So I think we take in the Void Walkers. What do we get rid of? They're an aggro deck, so I don't feel comfortable with the Sleeper Agents. Let's take the Sleeper Agents out for the Void Walkers. Yeah, I would like to go first, please. Okay, we have turn one play, we have turn two void walker. Uh, let's see. I think we keep this. Got our hate card. Go ahead and play Black Cleave Cliffs. Let's get the raid boy down. That way we can just start doing stuff. My goodness, that was... I can't believe I did that. I'm still upset with myself. And he's got a swift spear. For one. Excelente. Go ahead. Crack this. I kind of want to conserve life totals. 
but let's go ahead and play the Void Walker. He probably has a burn spell of some, but we will see. Maybe he doesn't. We just have to play it out. Like we can't let him. There he is. I figured that's less damage coming to our face. We're gonna take care of his Swift Spear. Uh, I'm gonna take care of this one. Yeah. I think. No, we're at a burn deck. I think we go fate. I'll hold off on that. And we'll just bump in the night. We can, it's instant speed. We can do it later if we want. So, doesn't have it yet. Lightning bolt, hidden creature. So if I do, that takes, if I do three, that takes him to nine. Yeah, it takes him to nine. And we have another one. Six. I, th I think we just have to focus on fates. Especially since he's using burn to clear. I think we have to focus on face. Uh, third land. Focus on face. And we'll just go ahead and turn. I don't think he has enough set up. I don't know what's in his hand. We're winning the race current. I don't see us needing three lands. Go ahead and sacrifice to draw a card. Bow Masters. Aunties. That's four. Seven. Go ahead and play Bowmaster or Gontis. Maybe I should have played Bow Bowmasters for the <sighs> Probably should play Bow. I should have played Bowmasters. And them down there. Don't know. Don't pass. If it looks like they're about to go off too much, we can lightning bolt one of theirs. That's fine. And a mutagenic growth one of us. That's actually really good for us. Ah. Not so good. We have to kill a swift speed. Now, do they have? I I can't. I can't even. Why Why are they running? 
No Pierce. No, I think we just lost. I think that is a yeah, that's it. They have us. But hey, you know. I don't think there was any different like we could have probably taken the bow mass. Would have been able to No, nah, they because they would have lava darted bow mass and the yeah, I think we're just dead. Well, not looking great for <laughs> our current league. We are currently zero and one, and I'm not happy about it. So, tomorrow we're gonna go and see if we can't change that to be one and one score. Uh, definitely need to be on my game a little better. Definitely the misplay on the first game with Orcish Bowmasters. The second game, I don't think we really had an out. Um, I don't think we had an out on the second game. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell notifications, so that way you get all of our notifications. That way you'll be notified tomorrow. You'll be able to catch up uh, with what we've got going on. You'll be able to see the podcast. Uh, like the video, comment where you think I could have done better. Um, you know, we've, like I said, we've identified that I could have done better on the Bowmasters play on the first round by keeping Bowmasters in. But I don't think I saw really anywhere else I might have misplayed. So comment below. I want to learn. I want to learn from all of you, all of you. I'm sure you guys are much more better with the hindsight than when I'm here in the game so please 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 let me know uh, like comment subscribe and I will see you tomorrow